Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. If we haven't met before, I am a self-taught graphic designer and I am absolutely obsessed with making printables. I love it, it's my favourite thing to do. I do it every day, I literally just cannot get enough of it. So I opened an Etsy shop way back at the start of 2013 to sell some of the printables that I was designing because I found them really helpful in keeping me organised so I thought others might as well. So they became quite popular and over the past couple of years it's been like I've been designing printables for about five years now. I kept getting asked a lot of questions on how I make my printables so I went and created an e-course. So I've done a couple of other e-courses like how to make your own patterns in Photoshop, how to make labels and then I finally got around to doing an e-course on how to make planner printables in Photoshop. So if you're really sick of trying to find a planner that suits you, like I know there's heaps of planners out there and it's just overwhelming and you're going, oh, that one doesn't suit my needs. Or you may look at a planner and go, you know, I like this planner, but that bit won't work for me. Or I want to change this. I want to make that section bigger. You know, I wish I had this page. I just need something that's custom with uh, my own like categories that I plan with. So you don't have to sit there and hand write it all each week. You want to choose your own colors, etc. So this course will give you those skills that you can use to make your own printer that actually suits your needs. So you don't have to try and hack together printables that you've like downloaded from here, there and everywhere, wasting money on stuff that doesn't work anymore. You can design a planner that literally is made just for you, by you. So um, I did went through that. Um, yeah, so in this course, I'm going to show you how you do printables in Photoshop. So there's heaps of other software that you can use to design printables. I personally prefer Photoshop because it's really quick to um, make changes once you've made a template. So once you've set up a template, you can do a quick tweak like a color change, a font style change, and then make a whole new printable. You can tweak um, things really quickly and make a whole bunch of printables really fast once you've created those templates. So in this course, I show you how to make those templates and then also how to tweak them, different ways that you can make a new style of planner using just like one template. So this is some of the tutorials, um, what you can create using the tutorials in the course. So things like those important dates pages that are standard with a planner. Um, so it's not just like the weekly pages and the calendars, it's all those add-on pages as well, including a planner cover, daily planners, things like build you checklists, and then taking a template like this and adapting it into basically any printable that you want, making checklists, all different types of calendars. So if you want to put a checklist down here, if you wanted your boxes bigger, how to add dates. If you want it undated, then you can do that as well. So uh, you can make the printables at any size that you like. So I know it's really hard to find printables at personal size, for example, um, and those smaller page sizes. So this way you can make your own that suit your exact needs. And the other thing that people have really liked in the course is that they can make their own calendar that starts on whatever day of the week they want. So there's nothing worse than finding a cute planner and it starts on a Sunday and you want it to start on a Monday. So you don't need to worry about that anymore. You'll be able to start it on whatever day of the week you like. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. This is the curriculum. So there is a lot of tutorials in this e-course. I've literally put in like everything I could think of that I wish I'd known when I was first teaching myself how to make printables. Um, some of the tips and things I've learned along the way. Some like things to keep in mind. Um, mistakes to avoid. How to speed it up so you're not like wasting time. So efficiency and hacks and shortcuts that I've um, come up with over the past couple of years. So they're all included in here. I've literally just gone, you can have everything. Here is everything you need to know about how to make your own planner printables. Um, so there shouldn't be any questions at the end of it. Like it's literally, I've put in everything I can think of in here. And if you did have a question after you've gone through the course, feel free to email me and then I'll probably just do a quick video and add it in um, if you're unclear about anything. So if you've never used Photoshop before, don't stress. I know a lot of people get overwhelmed by it and freak out and go, oh my God, it's like so complicated to use. I was like that too. I got so frustrated with Photoshop when I was first learning how to use it. I literally just didn't even touch the software for three months. But then I came back and I literally went through all the tools and I self-taught myself what to do, like how to use them all, etc. So you can skip all of that frustrating, it was really frustrating, learning curve. I've included all the tutorials on the tools that you need to know. You don't need to worry about half the tools in Photoshop. I literally don't even use half of them. Um, so I put in all these introductory videos on basically the only tools you need to worry about and you can just forget the rest. And these ones that have preview here on this sales page, if you click on them, you can go through those videos so you can like get to know my learning teaching style. Um, you can watch some of the videos, get more familiar with Photoshop um, before 
you enroll if you did want to enroll. So there's a whole bunch of introductory ones. So if you've never used Photoshop before, don't worry about it. You don't need to have any prior Photoshop experience to do this course. So the next thing is how to choose colors. So there's so many pretty colors to choose from. Where do I like to find colors and like design inspiration, how to make a color chart if you're going to be making printables to sell and then you personalize them for customers, for example, or you might have like a binder cover or a planner cover and they can pick two colors, like one for the font, one for the pattern, how you would go about making a, a chart for them to choose from for their selections, um, things like page sizes, resizing your printables, adding your watermark and your copyright so people can't steal your designs. Um, making line notes, paper and checklist, so that's like a staple, so this one is first in the course, so if you learn this, you can then, for example, apply a checklist to a weekly planner, you can add a checklist to a daily planner, etc. So I've stepped it out in the order that I think the tutorials should be completed, but you can do them in any order if you want to. So then we go into a daily planner and then a weekly planner, um, you can do one page weekly planners, you could do vertical, um, so portrait or landscape page orientation, you can do two page weekly planners, you can design whatever you want, um, you'll be able to make your own like custom planner exactly how you want it by the end of this e-course. Next we have calendars, same deal with the weekly planners, you could do a one page monthly calendar or a two page, whatever you like, you can make the boxes as big or as small as you want. I don't know about you but my pet hate is those um, portrait or vertical style calendars where there's just not enough room to write in the boxes. That was actually one of the reasons that I taught myself how to make printables because I was so frustrated with those. I wanted a calendar that was two across two pages. So I teach you how to do that as well in this course. And then some of the add-on pages that you typically find in planners. So you could make a whole planner from scratch and then sell it in your own Etsy shop. Um, or you could just use it for yourself, print some for some friends or family. So Basically, literally everything that goes into a planner. It's not just the daily and weekly pages and the calendar. It's all these other add-on pages as well. So things like important dates pages, if you want to make a bookmark, that one is a freebie if you want to um, go through that tutorial first. Then how to like jazz up your printables so they're not like plain and boring. Um, add cute clip art, add your own patterns, and then like personalized letterheads and stationery. So if you wanted to make a monogram, uh, a couple of bonus tutorials in Canva and then how to make binder covers and planner covers as well as dividers. I've included a couple of templates to speed up your workflow. So there's a calendar template, there's this dividers template. So you don't have to make all of them from scratch. I've done um, most of the work on some of them. Well, I've done like all of the work so you can just like apply your colors and your pattern and you're good to go. But I do show you from scratch for things like the weekly planner and the daily planner to give you those skills to make from scratch a complete planner and be able to modify it to suit your own needs rather than just going, here's a template and you're going, that's cool, but like I don't know how to make this myself. I don't know how to tweak it. So that's why I show you from start to finish. Uh, next things, we've got all those binder covers, planner covers, and your binder spines as well. Um, and then I just did a couple of extra tutorials that I thought would be really helpful. So things like a personalized wallpaper, they always look really cute. If you wanted to do one for your phone, I did a tutorial for that one as well. And then if you wanted to sell the printables that you make, how you go about doing that, so how you prepare them for sale, how to like password protect to prevent modification. The software that I recommend using for PDF files is Adobe Professional. So if you did want to do that, you'll need to um, get a copy of that. It's pretty cheap subscription. Then how to save your files, so things like file format, um, what image quality you should use. And I also put together my favorite resources for printables and planner supplies. So this is like my little black book. So this you will only get access to if you enroll in the course. So that one is very like exclusive. Then some printing tips and then also a, an exclusive discount to my shop if you wanted to purchase some patterns to use with your designs as well. So enough about that, let's go into the rest of this. So these are some of the cute printables that you can make. So you can do like a monogram, you could do just a simple black and white design, you could add a pop of color, or you could just do full on color and do something cute rainbow, I love a good rainbow. So there's 62 step-by-step -step tutorials. It's self-paced, you get lifetime access. So if you wanted to binge watch them all in a weekend, which you may struggle to get through because there is a lot of tutorials, um, you can, if you want to purchase the course now and not start it for like a month or a year or whatever you want to do, totally up to you. You go at your own pace, you can do one tutorial a day, you can do one a week, whatever suits you. And you'll get lifetime access, so if you did have any other 
um, questions and I end up recording some more tutorials later on, you'll get access to those as well for no additional cost. So if you're really frustrated with printables being sized at like A4, for example, and you want them to be A5, then I'll show you how to resize your design. So this is some examples. So you go from full page size to seven by nine inch if you wanted to add this to say your Erin Condren planner, if you want to make your own inserts, and then if you wanted to do half page size printables as well. So if you're reading this, I'm assuming obviously that you want to learn how to make your own printables. So some of the people that who I think would, this would be ideal for is bloggers. So free printables have been the number one um, like success, most successful thing for growing my subscribers on my email list. So printables are like the best opt-in to have on your blog. So if you want to learn how to make them, um, bloggers, these are really ideal for you to learn how to do. If you are interested in graphic design, if you want to make some extra money on the side, and obviously, of course, if you just want to make a custom planner that suits your needs, you don't have to stuff around trying to like find the perfect um, planner for you. You can just make your own. So I went through this a bit before. You can do nice, simple designs, or I show you how to add a pop of color. And then if you wanted to add some patterns to your designs, which I love to do with my own ones, um, so I show you how to do that as well. And then I also have my quality control checklist. This is a personal checklist that I've created after that five years. <laughs> Um, time flies of how long I've been making printables for. I did have my own checklist like way back in the beginning once I like figured out how to um, make my own printables. So I'm sharing that with you guys as well. These are some of those templates I was talking about earlier, which are included. So you get a planner dividers template, a calendar template, color chart template. So you don't have to sit there like making it from scratch. You can just put in the colors that you want to offer that people can choose from and you're good to go. And then same with a popular color combinations chart. Those two took me forever to figure out and I really have not seen any tutorials on how to do it, hence why I had to like make my own. Um, so those you'll get for free as well and then also a style guide so you can keep everything consistent with your designs. You'll know exactly like what fonts you've used for what printables, what colors, etc. It just keeps everything all in one place so you know exactly what you went on each one. So if someone wanted like a custom design or a tweak to one of your existing printables, you know exactly what like font you've used. You don't have to go and like sift through all your printables because you'll probably get addicted to making them like I have and end up with a ton of them. Um, so that's what the style guide template's for and all of these templates are worth over $100 and you get them for free if you want to enroll. So it's a pretty good deal guys. So this is that calendar template which is included and the other thing that I haven't said yet is that you can use them for commercial use to sell. So if you want to make, uh, take the template, add like a pattern, some font, um, pictures, clip art, Whatever you want to do, you can then sell the end result that you make using the template. You just can't sell the templates as is. So you can sell what you make with them, just can't sell the template as is. Um, so some of the frequently asked questions, I kind of went through this before. It's a self-paced course. You can do it whenever you want. If you want to do the tutorials at 3 a.m. because you can't sleep, by all means, go ahead. Totally up to you when you want to go through the course. Um, it doesn't expire or anything. You have lifetime access. So you can take as long as you need. For this um, e-course, obviously you'll need Photoshop because that's what you use to make the printables. So you'll need to download Photoshop um, and then I've included a link here. Otherwise, it's only a couple of bucks a month. Money well spent. Literally the best investment I have ever made. I can't believe why I didn't buy it sooner. Photoshop is amazing and it's actually really cheap. So seriously, it's, it's worth the investment. And then if you wanted to password protect your printables, which I highly recommend you do so that people can't copy them, then you'll also need Adobe um, Professional, which you can download at that link as well. So like I said before, you do not need to know how to use Photoshop. You could be a total newbie, have never even opened up Photoshop before. You don't need any prior experience with Photoshop to do this course. So I'll just do a quick overview with the refund policy. Because it is a digital product and there's no way to like return it, there is no refunds. So if you have any questions, I don't buy it. By all means, email me. This is my email address. If you have any questions at all, just send me an email. I usually reply pretty quickly. Um, just note that I am Australian. If you wondered, um, trying to pick my accent through this video, I'm an Aussie. So if it does take me like 12 hours or whatever to get back to you, it's probably because I'm sleeping. So I do try to re reply quite quickly. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me. Just send me a quick email. Um, so yeah, it's super comprehensive. Um, so I've kind of gone through all those tutorials. And I've literally like left nothing out. I've put in basically, well, I have put in literally everything that I wish I'd known, that I've learned along the way, some mistakes to avoid, 
some like quick shortcuts to speed up your workflow. And I also give lots of design examples as well. So I show you how to take that one template. Um, you might have made like a calendar template and then how to tweak that to make a whole bunch of completely new printables that you can do really quickly and not have to make from scratch. So you do it once and then I show you and give you lots of examples as well on how you can tweak it and then end up with a lot of printables to give yourself a lot of options if you want to experiment with different planner layouts or you want to open up a printable shop like I have. So if you do want to enroll, then I'll include a link below on where you can enroll in the course. So I hope you found this um, video helpful because I have been getting a few questions on um, what it is. So I thought I'd just do a quick video to give you some more info. Um, again, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me an email and I'll inclu also include a link below to my blog where I have tons more stuff about printables. I'm totally addicted. And then also like I'm a planner addict, <laughs> which you probably picked up by now. So if you're totally obsessed with planners as well, then come subscribe to my blog and follow along. Um, this year I'm doing a challenge. I'm trying 52 different planning systems, so one for each week, and I'm going to be making my own printables along the way as well, which obviously I make using the skills in this e-course. So if you wanted to follow along and join in, or you just love planners and want to find a new planner blog to follow, um, then don't forget to subscribe to my blog. I'll include that link below. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, don't forget to email me. I don't buy it, and I usually reply pretty quickly. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.